All right. Uh, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Macrum, Marcus Cash, SP3. It's time for episode three of season four of Ozark. Uh, last we saw, smart ass. Last we saw, uh, Maya, I don't want to say it was kidnapped, uh, but she was taken. <laughs> taken to Navarro uh, to have a meeting without either of the birds. I don't like that at all. Though Frank Jackson wasn't really asking. He was more telling. Like, this is how this yeah. is going to go. Sorry. And um, traitorous Jonah continues to work with Ruth, who continues to deal with problems from Darlene because she's jealous of Darlene and, I mean, uh, Ruth and Wyatt. This is weird. weird. It's all around weird. The fact that she is going out with someone that is 50 years younger than her and then is threatened by his relationship with his blood cousin. <laughs> two two people. All of these things are wrong. They seem close. That's awesome. She's made it this far. So, you know. She's got something right going for her, you know. Granted, she doesn't have any more husbands to kill, but... I guess we trust her judgment. To be fair, uh, Cass does make a good point. Darby I was going to say... It, the most consistent threat to the birds that we've had since season one. Yeah, it works for her. Sometimes the right path in life to walk is a sociopath. Why did it take him to think of that one? <laughs> I'm sure he used it before. I have. <laughs> Repeatedly. Uh, press the little red button. You need to provide us certain things in exchange. Such as? Years in a federal prison cell. Jesus. The details of how your cartels operated. Surrendering your product. Oh shit. Names and locations of every U.S. citizen you've made disappear. These are two people that are looking for totally different things. <laughs> And you get up? What? <laughs> Yo, I don't know how Maya had a baby with balls like that. <laughs> what? Talking about fucking uh, technology these days, boy. Oof. You will get Agent Miller back for me. Yeah, it, uh, you know, it seems that she might need a minute to get her head around all this. You don't win until I win, Marty. Don't forget that. A sample of what, his product? I think so. Sample? Yeah. Sample of what? His heroin or whatever the fuck he's given to the people. Oh, uh, okay. She did, yeah, because she did act for the product. This is a place where we can come and remember Ben. <sighs> <laughs> but I was hoping it wasn't. Anyone has anything they want to say to him, they can write down and we'll know what's reaching him as it burns. He don't need that. He's got Ben. Well, Ruth's got him. Yeah, same thing. But he's not. Don't be an asshole. Maybe if you kill me, you can make one of these too. Oh, shit! I could have I could have told you that was gonna happen. Oh come around. Seriously, just give him time. He's a cunt. He's a teenager. Let him be cunty and teenager for a bit. He'll get over it. Still kinda of judicy, but that's a hard ass line. <laughs> she just loves this boy. It's because he has the dick. It's a short pilot. He's gonna cut his no, cut yeah, his power. Serious. Huh? I mean, he's Judas. Yeah, but you just want to compliment every line he has when even though it's just cunt. I appreciate cutty lines. There it is. <laughs> Let's go. This is so me. I tried being nice about this. My mother says being a parent makes you selfish. No. No. It makes you fierce. I still need something from your boss. Who was that that was listening in? Just a babysitter or something? What happened? 
Was that just a babysitter listening in? I don't know. I hope it was mom. No, I think it was mom. Why do we think that? Because she just said, my mom said, da 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 da. So what? She can't hold her mom on the phone? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. But it seemed very pointed for mom to be in the yeah, background when she called my mom. Yeah, just be honest. She dark and they all know each other. Mom cut the power to the basement. When did she do that? Yesterday, when I was in the middle of testing an automated deposit flow chain. If one of those deposits was in process when the power cut. And then, the, then the account gets flagged and the whole chain needs to get rebuilt. I can't work like this. <laughs> then buy your own place, you cunt! I can't work like this. Before you blow a fucking gasket, I'm only doing what he asked. If he asked you for a hit of smack, would you give him that too? The kid had 16 shell corps up and running before I could even say Panama. Oh shit. He's still, uh, he's still just a kid, you know? So is I when he hired me. And that's working out great, isn't it? <laughs> if you think, if you think, you think these two lunatics are gonna protect you when the shit hits the fan? You've got another thing coming. Jonah. Jonah. Let him go. Fuck him. I know. So, son, I get it. So, ladies and gentlemen, realize I'm talking about TV characters. I really want Jonah to get clipped while he's hanging out with Ruth and Darlene. So, that's the, that's the only way the people can learn their lesson. I feel for Wendy, but she looked like unhinged as fuck. Yes. She, I, she had me cringing throughout that. I try to be as calm as Marty is about all kinds of shit, <laughs> always. Well, he's going to go commit felonies elsewhere now. <laughs> Wendy's trying to shoot like her, her son and her enemy. You can't do both, ma'am. You got to pick one. He's the enemy. Fuck him. Marty's always just defeated and living with it. <laughs> <laughs> Six months ago, you thought liquidity was what happened when you spilled your bomb. I'm not the one that hired a fucking teenager to do our laundering, okay? Was I supposed to run an ad? Launderer needed, police need not apply. <laughs> you know, and then once you start fighting, it becomes more about the fight than it does the work. Why, Wyatt? Go ahead, Wyatt. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. Everyone you've worked with, what do they have in common? Look, I, I want this to work out with me, you and Darlene. I do, okay? So please don't fuck this up, too. Look at Wyatt go. Good job, sir. It's a great fucking plan, Wyatt. You know it. I put yourself in the MVP candidates, okay? Oh, great. Uh, Ruth doesn't get Darlene at all. No. You could bring her a billion dollars, you would still have a fucking problem with it. Exactly. Behind her back. Because it's not her way to get the a billion dollars. And that he talked to you all and you said that you didn't know anything. We both know that's not true. Aaron, you need to calm down, okay? I thought your mom went back to Chicago. I don't believe you. Why are we having this conversation? Her shit is obviously tapped. Where like the fuck thing. is she? I'll see what I can find out, okay? I'll take it. Okay. I thought she's ready to crack. Right. <laughs> like, and down the rabbit hole you go. <laughs> she's wondering where her mom is and she's convinced that we know something. I can't have that conversation with her over the phone. Mm -hmm. You have to have it with her at all? Yes. Yes, she does. Really? All right, well, why don't we make a family trip out of it? Mm -hmm. Oh, is that the car crash? Mom's the only one that's been back since we moved, and we can just, you know, make a, like, a reverse vacation. I can't. I have work. <laughs> we can go to Portillo's and get chocolate cake shakes. <laughs> don't bother, Charlotte. <laughs> Mom, it's your time. Stone cold <laughs> Wendy. That's for me. Well, look, that's muscling. That's not parenting. Well, what do you think brought Charlotte back? Charlotte realized she had no place else to go. Neither does Jonah. He just doesn't know it yet. Got a place to go. Just the worst possible place he can. Mario less worried because Mar uh, Jonah's more capable than Charlotte had been. I think he trusts Ruth more than Wendy does. I know, buddy, but it's all tied up in crypto and offshore accounts, right? That's a little liquidity just in case. Don't do anything I wouldn't. 
So do steal ten grand and buy a shitty van. But you gotta live a little. He's gonna get. He's gonna get this place all burned down. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is the the the, the worst decision they've made with this game. You really not gonna say goodbye? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> when he's being such a baby. <laughs> uh, I get it. I'm just saying. I get it. I respect it. Keeping that same energy. You're really not going to say goodbye? <laughs> We're working on it. No. You're 400 miles away working on saving yourselves. When I already told you, Marty. We don't win unless you win. I did not no, forget No, that. no, no, no. You don't win until I win. It's a big difference. It's too fair there is. Give me your number. No. No? No. Wendy just got back from smoothing things over from the last time your impatience almost fucked this up, so we're gonna do it our way this time. Listen, I, I gotta run. Let's oh, go! Oh, shit! <laughs> so you gonna send Javi down now? Oh, fuck. Last time your impatience Screwed this up. Oh man, Marty. It is. I always saw your guy as a friend I could reach across the aisle to until he started working with you. Which is why I've been waiting years to say fuck you. At least let me make my pitch, Randall. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> Randall's hilarious. But since you've retired. Your reach only goes as far as Illinois. Think about the kind of influence that purchasing power could buy you across the region, Senator. And across the country. <laughs> All right back on the table. Is that a yes? <laughs> Slightly less vehement. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Go ahead, goat. Don't take too long with your decision. Those board seats are filling up. <laughs> Move! Go! Go it! From here on out, I'll be my uncle's personal representative on this deal. I'd love to grab dinner when I'm in town to supervise the first shipment. Fuck. Shake his hand, at least. Got it. <laughs> You're the first gringo I've met whose family's killed more people than mine. <laughs> shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Whoa, wow. Every time I think he's reached peak problem, he's like, you wow. ain't seen shit yet. <laughs> but wait, <laughs> there's more. There's a hell of a lot more where that came from. B, you've been waiting for a partner with as much guts as you your whole life. C, if you try, there's no guarantee I won't take off yours first. <laughs> Go ahead, Ru. I knew I made the right call bringing you on. I made the right call, bringing you on. Absolutely. <laughs> Not we, <laughs> me. And to me, that feels like I'll use this talking get ready. Yeah. I happen to need the money right now because like, Kansas City. Fucking kind of scary. Give up that gun shipment that Javi is setting up for tonight. It's uh, it's exactly what Maya's looking for, and if you want to get her back, this is how you do it. You've already won the war. Those guns are going to be a lot more. Oh, shit. Do you really think that I would risk my life suggesting this with Javi right here if I didn't think it was absolutely necessary? Uh, it doesn't mean you're not fucking me. To prove to you how much I'm not fucking you, I'm going to give you Maya's number and you can call her yourself, okay? So get a piece of paper and start writing. Holy shit. <laughs> Everybody's extra bold this episode. I'm so excited. Now he's so excited. Fuck over Javi. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck that. 
Marty's really trying to catapult into this fucking uh, neck and neck MVP race, ain't he? God damn. They don't take your word for it. Like, go see what it is, boys. Now you need to be here. College can't be missed, and not because of the of the classes, but oh God, he's the, gonna get the ball the whole right experience. Now. <laughs> uh, the other students. <laughs> <laughs> Their faces. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus. To your business being my business, and mine being yours. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was episode three, a little sidetracked, season three of, season four, pardon me, episode three of Ozark, another banger, quite frankly. Um, I, I just, <laughs> Javi's mean, just a whole problem. It, it's, it, it verges on funny to fucking scary with every sentence out of his face. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty much. <laughs> First of all, him keeping his cool and saying, yeah, there's no problem. Um, it's hilarious. Him essentially threatening them all at the end uh, was very good. And the shit with Charlotte feels grosser than it should. Very gross. Like, I just, like, I don't like them sitting next to each other. I don't like him. We've already seen he's uh, virile, we'll say. Um... I wonder if that could be an issue down the road. How old is she? Nineteen. She is. She's nineteen. I don't know. She's older than she's. Old, she's an adult. Yeah, she is. Go ahead. Tell the people how much of a creep you are. Go ahead. They're in Missouri. I know for a fact that she would be. That's not. Yeah, she's a creep. Go ahead. Feel free. Okay. Yeah. Right there. There's the camera. So Tell me how much of a creep you are. As long as it's legal, I don't give a fuck. They can say twelve is legal. I fuck twelve years. I don't give a fuck. Go ahead. Say it to Martin's the camera. Cash. What's up? How are you? How old are you? How old are you? Also legal. <laughs> um, uh, I love this episode. I, I we're gonna forget the beginning, but to me, Maya kind of wrapped up the MVP nice and early. Nice and early. <laughs> I just fucking her getting. First of all, I would have shat my pants. That's number one. Number two, I would have. He would ask me a question. I would have. Ah, 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 ah. I definitely wouldn't have the forethought to fucking big my fucking chest up and then walk out. That's not happening. MDB, done and dusted. Marty, Wendy, Charlotte, all had viable options. They all did their best. Ruth, all did a great job putting up respectable performances. But uh, nah, this was over. Over and done for me. Relative. First 10 minutes of the show. It almost was for me too. Okay, go ahead. Uh, she had gold, done and dusted. But fucking Wendy had two wins. She had the fucking senator, and then she had the shit at the end. But the senator's not a win. Senator is a not a loss. Oh, thinking about it. Unless yeah. vehement fuck you. <laughs> Unless vehement fuck you. But that shit's back on the table, and that's going to open up a whole fucking plethora of options of shit she needs to get done. Okay. Uh, and then she had the other one right at the fucking end, and she can't... Which one? The last fucking... Uh, who is she talking to? Oh, the, the Shaw lady. Yeah. Uh, when she fucking got Shaw that was about to back out because of fucking Javi. Because <laughs> Javi is garbage. And, oh. and she was like, no, I need to save this shit too. These are both integral pieces of my fucking plan here. And I, I, two wins kind of beats out one to me. Because all of these fucking wins today have been pretty sizable. I, I have to give it to Marty and uh, Wendy. This was this was Kobe and Shaq effect, like we saw in the earlier seasons, where they they basically were against the twin towers of David Robertson and Tim Duncan at fucking shit up, and uh, <laughs> Adams and his nephew uh, Javi. Like they, yeah, they just wanted to fuck everything that Marty and Wendy wanted to do, and by the end, they they turned this shit around. They got Maya what she needed. Uh, you know the good faith, uh, and Javi has been neutralized for now. Um, 
I have a random question. Not random. I think it'll be pertinent as the episode goes. So show goes along, which is Javi's gonna has already pieced together. Marty did this no, immediately. <laughs> immediately by that quote. Um, how much does he know his uncle's behind it, and will he put it together if he doesn't know yet? Uh, yes, but do we get that this season? I mean, it's half season, right? Or whatever. It's last season. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel I feel like, the, to answer the first question, he's so preoccupied with Marty. Yeah. <laughs> like, Marty, he's so preoccupied with Marty, he doesn't realize all the other issues and problems that he has. That I think that's his main thing, and that he doesn't even realize it. I'm going to go on a limb. I think Navarro gets close to this uh, deal that he's looking for. And Javi puts it all together right before he does and fucks it. I, be pretty shot I, 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 I was pretty sure from the very start of this season that Javi would kill Navarro. Mm. And I don't, nothing I don't nothing kill, I've but... seen yet has made me think otherwise. I would imagine the only reason he hasn't done it yet is because it would cause a shitstorm uh, around him, essentially. Uh, but if he was to reveal that his uncle was a rat... Uh, there is no more shitstorm. We all agree he has to be getting rid of. I don't know. We'll see. So, uh, MVP, I've got um, Maya, and then I've got uh, Goat Wendy, and then I've got Charlotte. Now, she's getting a bit of a bump, obviously, because she's been terrible for three seasons. Well, terrible for two seasons, and then average for one. And then, all of a sudden, she's crushing it this season. But, I'm sorry. G- great job. I'm going Maya, Wendy, Charlotte, and then... Uh, Marty, uh, as an honorable mention, because this hobby shit will blow back. Yeah. Quite quick. So it's not really, it shouldn't be considered yeah. MVP type yeah. performance yeah. because this may be, it was, a, it was a smart move in a vacuum. Yes. But long term consequences, uh, I don't know about, about that. I do agree with your uh, your ranking there. No, actually, I, I'll, give, I'll give Charlotte the honorable mention instead of Marty, and I'll give it to Roof. Because Roof got that paper. Roof got paid. Roof and got that paper and, and convinced the unconvincible. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? That's more circumstances, I think. Darlene's strapped for cash and got Kansas City breathing on her balls. <laughs> her swelled up balls. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go Wendy narrowly stealing it. Uh, Maya the Silver. Like, it's fucking like 99, 98. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> uh, we got it. You're a good guy. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, Ma- <laughs> <laughs> Narrowly. I love Maya. What? Wendy, Maya. Uh, I'm going to give Marty and then Roof the honorable mention. Oh, still love Charlotte. Huh? That's what they got to do over here. <laughs> she, she did really well. Uh, I just think uh, it's that conversation in the park's a little bit bold because I don't trust Helen's daughter not to be wired. Can you uh, win? Well, she's kind of she won Most Improved Player last year. I mean, yeah. last season, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. she's in she's in the running for Sixth Man of the Year. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fair. I think that's a fair analogy. Okay. She's no. been crushing it. I'll give her that. I just I would have fucking patted her down and fucking checked down her I'm, shirt. She's fucking for that fucking conversation in the park. I'm here as a friend. Strip. All right. Um, LVP. I don't want to just give the hobby every episode, even though I probably should. <laughs> Yo, it's like it's like yo. I don't know. I don't know if it's possible, but I think in four episodes he succeeded Roof's dad and Petty. It's it's amazing. It's quite it's quite astonishing how quickly he has he has sped up to the top. I have an OVP. Okay. Wyatt. Judas ass Wyatt. Um, uh, over here picking the cobwebs over his blood. First of all, did you just call her the cobwebs? Yes. Jesus fucking Christ. I'd rather data. blow off the add, dust of that Nintendo cartridge. You gotta call. <laughs> we'll add ageism to the list too. Jesus. We gotta I mean, it. Javi's just a horrible person, and he took the L, so he's the obvious LVP. Okay, that's, that's fair. He's, 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 first of all, by the way, family. wait a minute. First of all, first of all, first of all, I figured Ruth, I'd win you over. No, no, because fucking turning on family, didn't Ruth kill her uncles? Like, enough, enough of this. <laughs> That's enough. Let's go through Javi's itinerary here. Ready? All right. Has an attitude of putting his phone in the thing. 
So much so that this is part of the deal. This is not a thing. You weren't supposed to be here. You weren't putting the phone. You won't put the phone on there. That's number one. Um, hits on the woman he's doing a deal with, calls her a gringo, and then says, "My family's killed more. Only been killed had more people. You only people that killed more people in my family." He's trying to bond. Clearly, and failing at it. And then mentions a, a fucking gun deal in front of the guy he's already said he doesn't trust. Come on. Come on. This is what it and is. And then doesn't even realize that his uncle is in on all of this. What if it's tactical? What if he talks about the drug, the gun deal in front of Marty to see if he can use this against Marty? See, that's what he can he's immediately. That money. Yeah. And he's already on the fucking shaky ground with his uncle. See, I thought, what I thought he was doing was, there is no gun deal, I'm lying about it, and then Marty goes and says something, and then all of a sudden they get nothing, and I know Marty's a cunt. But no, it's an actual gun deal, this fucking idiot! How many stakes? If you were setting them up, you would do what, like, Tommy did, I think it was like in season two, when the feds was following him, he had two trucks. He had one for the feds to follow, and then one to get what he needed to get done. That's what Javi, if he was a smart criminal, would have done. And the fact that I'm calling Tommy Egan a smarter criminal than Javi is very obvious why he's LVP. Very sad. Very, very sad. I miss Tommy on this show. Uh, same. I gotta be honest. I wonder what happened to the fucking um, private detective. Barely. He's back in Chicago talking to Helen's daughter. Yeah. Indeed. He's gonna get everybody killed. Good job, Steve. Yes. He's in, I would imagine he's in Chicago where everybody else is right now. Mmm. So, see you next episode, sir. When did this, when does this car crash happen? The last episode. At the, at the end of the part two. Oh, ooh. Okay, fair enough. Uh, uh, plug. I have my batteries dying on the Twitter. Plug. Check out our wrestling YouTube channel, True Heel Heat. You can see these two good fellas and me on AE Ramble reviewing All Elite Wrestling Wednesday Night Dynamite. So, check it out. From this past week. Uh, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. Powerhouse.